All right, guys, so we have one of my favorite cars of all time here, the first gen Scion XB. We have the extremely rare Incredible Hulk Green, as we call it. There was 2,000 of these things made, 2,200 of them made, to be exact. And um, finding one of these is near impossible. Um, I was looking at one here a while back. It was around the $7,000 range, which is a lot of money for a car that costs 14 grand brand new uh, back in 06, right? So I have not seen another one of these in a very long time. My friend Kevin just bought this one. We're in negotiations with him, trying to talk it out of him because it makes a perfect runner car. We can run E85 in this thing. You get anywhere from 35 to 38 miles a gallon, depends on what you like, what setup you have and what mile an hour you're driving, what kind of road conditions. Um, and we can actually haul a lot of stuff. So somebody like me that hauls a lot of stuff for the shop, we need to go get parts uh, a couple hours away at the dealership for the G wagon for one of the BMWs. We could just hop in it, roll out. We want to go shoot some video. We could do that real easy with this thing. So today we're going to show you all the reliability issues that these things have. Okay, so this one has a few modifications on it. As you can see, we're going to start off with the elephant in the room here, which is the nasty carbon fiber hood. This kid is why you don't buy carbon fiber stuff. This is actually a good name brand hood. If it sits out in the sun, it does this. And we thought, well, let's repaint it, right? Repaint it green. But if you look at it in the light, there's actually bubbles throughout it. So that's gonna need a new hood. Um, if you put aftermarket hood on it, it's cheap. So I have to see what Toto wants for that. Other than that, this has a solid grill. This is a release series, uh, 3.0 release series, maybe 2.0, I don't remember. We have the standard issue faded headlights. You guys see me fix that a hundred times. Somebody's hit something here, either a parking curb, armadillo, Sasquatch, something, and uh, knocked the paint off the front bumper. There's also various rock chips. Um, we can see here, we got Philip over here on this fender. You probably can't see it on that camera with that lens. This fender's been repainted. You can barely tell if you look in the shine. It's just slightly milky. Um, and we'll move on to the top. The rest of it's not bad. There's a ding here. A couple of scratches here and on the top we'll let them show you that all the clear coats coming off i've never seen that before on a scion <clears throat> i don't know if that's something particular to this color but probably somebody's worship with something that was not good for the old paint or it's been repainted and somebody did a poor quality job either way uh, so it needs about a thousand dollars worth of paint work to be perfect we already talked to the body shop about it uh, has the factory 15 inch wheels. Usually on these I like to go 17s, things like that. Um, other than that exterior, these don't have a lot of problems. Seeing faded paint on one of these is not a common thing if you're looking to buy one. Uh, what is common to see on these, as we've seen the valence in the front is boogered up, that's common. Also on the rear over here, we'll get Philip to, to zoom into this. On the rear, this bottom piece is separate from the rest of the bumper. There's a seam right here. If you run through standing water, like a big puddle really fast, it'll actually pop this piece off. This piece is not popped off. It does have the fart can exhaust on it. And it is the one that turns and you close and open it. So it was open. It was hit as loud. We did close it, but one of the bolts are broken off. So if we do buy this, we'll throw some money at uh, a little nicer exhaust for it. This does have the rear wing. I don't think this is factory. I think the only factory wings were painted. Um, this is the same way. Can this be repainted? I don't know. It's got a bunch of little heat like check marks in it. We'll paint adhere to that for a long time. I don't think so. So we'll probably take that off, throw it away, and put something that we could actually paint on there. Um, other than that, everything else. Interior is really good. It needs a slight cleaning. It's not very bad. It has the highest option stereo on it. I'll get Philip to zoom in on the stereo. He's on the gimbal, so you gotta bear with him. It's a little difficult to get the gimbal to the point where you want it immediately. This one is a five-speed transmission. So be warned of the five-speed. If you have never changed your gear oil in this, this car is 170,000 miles on it. If you never change your gear oil on this, 
that five speed is not going to be any good. They had a, a bulletin when these things were about a year old. The fluid they used was not up to par. And it would actually make the synchros go out. Also, if you buy it from a kid that was bashing through the gears all the time, the synchros would go out. You can take it apart and fix it. Um, done that before on these. You can buy another transmission. The problem is a limited number of cars. It's just like the other cars here. Everything's limited number, so it's not easy just to go buy parts anywhere. This one also has the TVs and the headrests, which is kind of comical because TVs from 2006 and your headrest is not going to be, uh, what we want to call it, up to par. So it's just a novelty item at this point. You know, if you got kids and they're back there pouring Kool-Aid down the back of your seats and stuff, maybe that'll keep them occupied long enough to not do that. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, so let's go to mechanical next. Okay. So engine wise, this has a cold air intake on it. This is a factory AEM cold air intake. This has a couple holes rubbed in it. Nobody's ever changed the filter the way it looks. So might have to do something with that. Um, nobody's ever washed the engine. They have changed the oil in it. That's all that really matters. Um, so we'll probably need a, judging by the date on the battery, probably a battery one of these days. Uh, somebody's already done all the brakes on it. These things don't have a lot of brake issues but like any other car, you need one set of rear brakes or two sets of front brakes. Um, so there is that. There's no engine issues at all with this. These are literally run for 300,000 miles without hardly any issue without any oil leaks. They've solved all that on these. There's no broken cam bolts. There's none of that stuff whatsoever. Water pump seems to last forever in it also. They're also cheap to fix if something does go wrong. Like anything else, with a windshield that sits this straight up and down, these are very prone, very prone to get a crack in the windshield. This one seems only caught a uh, bug guts at the minute. The windshield is about 200 bucks, pretty much anywhere, unless you live in the city, then it's probably $4,000 or something crazy. Uh, but in normal America, it's $200 for a windshield. So don't let that deter you too much if it has a crack in the windshield. Um, they really don't have many other issues. They don't have CV axle issues. They don't have uh, ball joint issues, they don't have tie rod issues. Usually that stuff lasts pretty much forever on these, a uh, lifetime of the vehicle. That makes these very attractive. And this one being a little special edition, special color, special stereo, and that's attracted to me. So we'll see guys. Reliability video on this one is pretty short because they're very reliable. That's gonna be it guys, I'll see you very soon.